Guys, welcome to 2022. As has become a tradition, we are gonna go through and pick our top five guns from 2021 and some honorable mentions as well. And we're gonna kick off with probably the most obvious one, the Cosmic. We shot the Cosmi whilst we are in Italy doing a tour around Rizzini. It's been on my list of guns to try for a long time. We want to shoot target with eight shot. What you're about to shoot witness one thing you want. on onboard audio is one of the best moments of my Hold gun up. life. And I'll tell you what, it did not disappoint. That gun deserves its top five spot. <laughs> <laughs> These are in no particular order, by the way, but boy, that really was an exceptional moment. I've been thinking about buying one ever since. However, they don't come up often in the UK, and when they do, they are at top dollar for basic models. So I'm gonna wait out, wait for that perfect gun to come along. You can watch the entire video, or just that small clip, in the link in the description, as well as all the others that we're about to get into. In your face, Ferrari! Number two, probably the second most obvious, my Longthorn. Oh man. Hello, it's man. That is... Got it? Don't drop it. A beautiful thing. I mean, how could I not put it in there? I really have fallen in love with that gun. It was an amazing process to have it built. And it was, a, it was pretty much the entire year, the process of shooting the other one, having that one built, playing with stocks, making friends with Jim and Longthorn and learning so much about shooting in the process. It was a great fun gun. I love it, but I'm biased. So we'll move on because otherwise people go, Meh, you've got to put other guns in there when clearly that gun's going to get one of the top spots because it's mine. As is one of the honorable mentions. It's quite pretty, isn't it? That it's is quite pretty. pretty. Number three, from the video, my favorite Italian gunmaker, Luciano Bosis. The hardest question to answer is, what is your dream gun? Yeah, that gun was beautiful. Bosis really do make guns as close to perfection as I can imagine. They are some of the most beautiful, imaginative and stylish guns. And this is, well, a pretty good representation. They make pretty much the only round body that I lust after. It's just perfectionist Italian gun making. They obviously come at a price, but hey, everything in life worth having is unaffordable. Pretty much. Caveat, that's not actually true. I know we should always look down and not up, but it's occasionally nice to have something to aim at. And not that I'm aiming at a Bosis, but all other gun makers in the world should aim to have that style. Anyway, it's in there. I love it. I thought it's beautiful. Regardless of what you think of the design or the quality or the colors of gold, it's just fit. Number four, the Rizzini BR460 Devil Edition. And this gun really embodies a lot more than Devil Edition. It embodies the 460 that I shot for the first time we were in Italy. It embodies the Prestige. It embodies a lot of guns that I've shot because they're all built on a very similar action. But this one was the most custom and most cool. I, I like it. It was the brainchild of Giuseppe Rizzini. It's just nice, you know. I say it's just nice. It's not nice. It's got the Devil on it. It's got the serial number 666. The writing is, is in gold Devil writing. It's it's not beautiful and pretty, but it is very nicely put together and I admire it and I'd quite like it one day. As for the gun that it's wrapped around, the 460 itself, or the 440 in that case, they're very similar. They are stunning. They are one of my top guns from last year. They're a bit of a revelation in terms of something that I didn't know to existed and didn't get to try out. I like it. I could pick very few holes in it. All the way from the basic grade, slightly less finished version, all the way to up to the top grade custom ones. I just think it's a nice gun that more people should be aware of. I think I said that in the review. I'm gonna say it again. Go check them out. They're quite cool. Oh. <laughs> and finally, in my top five is a Kriegoff K80, belonging to Ed Solomons. I really like it. I've shot it a few times. I know that it's not something we've reviewed. It's not something I've even shot on video, I don't think. I, I did actually, I shot it twice in the 130 yard clay videos. I've shot it a few times subsequently. It's just a beautiful gun. It's beautiful, it's custom, it's very much his. It's nice, and it shoots exceptionally, as you'd expect. It's specced really nicely. It's viciously left-handed, but you know, we gotta get over that. It's in my top five. I just like it. 
Is that okay? That is in a lot of videos. Check out the one in the description and then check out all the others done with Ed because they're equally as good and you'll see that gun quite a bit. No! Absolutely nailed it. All right, moving on to honorable mentions. Guns that did not quite make the top spots, but it would be rude not to talk about. And the first is my old Mark 38. This is my gun. This is my stock. I built this stock many years ago. Seven years ago, to be precise. This was the year that I said goodbye to using it as my full-time gun. I still got it. Me and that gun have gone through a lot together. We've shot a lot of cartridges. We've missed a lot of birds and a lot of clays. I will forever not miss it because it's still there, but be thankful for that gun. And that's why it deserves to be in this list. It's like the New Year's Honours. Some guns that aren't worthy of mention just get a worthy mention. Uh, it's like very that. good at pulling cases apart. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's very impressive, all, all part of the service. The 694 Limited Edition. We did a members video on that. That's in very much an honorable mention. It's amazing how just changing the rib on something and a few other tiny tweaks can change a gun from being good to being great. And that's what they did with the 694 Limited Edition. Like I said, there's a members vid, join as a member, check it out. Don't join as a member, don't check it out. Go and check one out, make your own mind up. But sometimes a slight change in sight picture can transform a gun. And that's why it's in my honorable mentions. I really like that gun. The Johan Fanzoi Black Gun. I think the video is called My Dream Hunting Rifle, and it really is. It's just a bolt action rifle finished to perfection. I really like it. There's very little not to like, to be honest, and I think you'll agree. I went on about it in two Holtz videos and a separate video. I got yeah, three actually, videos. How is that not in your top five? It got three videos. It doesn't it need another three. video. It's got four videos now. <laughs> Don't guilt me. I really would have thought, because you've talked about that all year. It's close to my top five. It's because it's a rifle. There you go. I think that's it. I am rifleist. There's nothing here that doesn't belong on this gun. Nothing was done too much. Nothing was done too little. That's kind of why I like it. Moving on. A bakel. There you go. We shot a bakel at Honorsbury and it wasn't trash. It was quite nice. And she's a minter, mate. I mean, she's non-ejector, she's double trigger. You know, we, we do are guilty. We're guilty on this channel of showing the best of the best and saying it's really good. And that's because it is. But one must not forget that shooting is, it doesn't have to be a expensive hobby. It really doesn't. And especially in the UK, you can buy a nice over and under. You can buy a bakel over and under for well under a hundred pounds and go out and shoot. That's an affordable sport. And those sort of guns do make it affordable and forgetting that that is a thing or becoming snobbish or prudish. And I know that it's one of the very important things to all shooters to buy a gun from a brand and then rip every other brand to shreds. But that's weird because, you know, Bakel do make guns that go bang repeatedly. And they might not be that pleasant to shoot. The oh. USP of this gun. The heavy trigger so you don't set it off by accident. It will never double discharge. True. The small grip for cold weather with big hands and gloves or for small hands to really get to grips with. And the quick draw capacity in case you get charged by a wolf in Russia. But they do shoot and it's fun. And that gun kind of, this has been a year for reminding me that you really don't have to be that bothered about the gear or what you've got. And it's nice to have nice stuff. In fact, it's really nice to have the best stuff. But you don't have to. And for all of our guilt in promoting the best of best, a bakel is pretty cool. Can't a bakel. A bakel is pretty cool. I know they're not called bakel, but I refuse to say it correctly. I used to win my local championships with a bakel and a cheap gun worth 30 pounds. The Parazzi Ribless. I liked that gun. That was good fun. Every new gun you pick up that is different, not just a vanilla product that everyone else makes, is nice. You learn a lot from it, it's enjoyable to shoot. How could it not be in the top? It was almost in the top five, to be fair. That's why it's an honorable mention, Sash, because things that were almost in the top five get to go in the honorable mentions. The final honorable mention is Holt. <laughs> we see thousands and thousands of world-class guns in those sales every year. And uh, it's hard to pick some, but we did. The J. Dougal side lever in the June 2021 100 Guns Part 1 at minute 47. The Dougal side lever. That was a beautiful, beautiful side by side. That was just a thing of beauty. 
And then the AYA 410 Pigeon Gun that was in the What Is My AYA video with Osama Reinhold. Both of those stand out as, oh, and the Afghan gun, the um, oh, the most beautiful gun you'll see today video. That, the, the list is endless, which is why we didn't delve too far into them, because... Realistically, top five Holt should have its own thing. Top five Holt should have its own thing. Yeah. If you want one, let us know and we'll make one. Out rolls your man stoppers to shoot the man that insulted your wife. Guys, have a great 2022. It's gonna be a banger. We're gonna see some even greater guns. And then again, maybe not, but we are gonna see some epic ones. Take care, goodbye, have a wonderful year. Make it safe, prosperous, stress-free, enjoyable, full of love, joy, happiness, and amazing TGS videos. We'll see you soon.